In this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between the electric field strength and the electric potential. And here it is, E equals to minus dV dr. Now, we must always remember that the electric field strength at a point is the rate at which the electric potential changes with respect to distance. So what exactly does this mean? So, for example, okay, if I were to look at a graph like this, okay, plotting how the potential changes with distance r, it could look like something like that. Okay. And of course, I can figure out the electric field strength at a point let's say over here, simply by taking the negative gradient of this tangent over there. Simple enough, right? And so where do we actually see this? Well, we can actually see this happening in e equipotential lines. So let's consider a negative charge minus Q and the following uh, equipotential lines, minus V1, minus V2, minus V3. First of all, let's talk about the minus sign. Why is there a minus sign? Well, that's because as you move along this distance over here, minus V1, minus V2, minus V3, we know that our electric field is directed in this direction towards the negative charge, but my potentials are decreasing. V decreases in this direction, right? You're getting closer to the, to the negative charge, and so v, minus V1 will be more negative than minus V2, and so on and so forth. And so we say that the minus sign tells you that the potential or the change in potential is a negative one in the direction of the electric field. Now, what about dVdr? Well, this can be explained by looking at the distances between the equipotential lines. Notice that as you get further away from the field, sorry, from the charge, the magnitude of your E field strength decreases as R increases. And so what that means is that your dV, dr, decreases as well, which means that for the same change in potential, you need a larger delta R. And so you'll see that this larger delta R is illustrated in the increasing distances between the equipotential lines. This is, of course, assuming that the change in potential from V1 to V2 and V2 to V3 is about the same. And so remember this crucial uh, relationship between E and V. It's very useful in analyzing graphs, especially.